Go meet the boss. Let's get on with it. Oh. I didn't want to be rude to him. Damn it. Let me turn. Uh huh. What the hell? Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. You'll <coughs> be right with him. <coughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. Damn, this place looks nice. Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Whoever their maid service is, I want their number. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... Don't interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. Yeah, just to let you know, if he invites us to join his super fun cult, I'm bugging out. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then? I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? You haven't told me half of what I need to know. Keep your shirt on. I'm getting to it. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I have some questions. Shoot. What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. Are we good here? Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. You all set then? How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. I never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. Anything else? Uh, I guess nothing, nothing else. else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons. So you'd better get going.
What the hell? Were you talking to me? The rounds, doing the job. It's time you learn the big secret. Everyone thinks that Desdemona is the big boss. She calls the ops, gives the rah-rah speeches, but it's just an act. She does what I tell her to because the railroad, it's my show. It's been that way since I founded it. You really founded it? Sure. Me and Johnny D and Watts. Hell, that was 60, 70 years ago. After a while, you lose count. We've come a long way since the beginning. We've done a lot of good, saved a lot of synths. But we're about more than that. We are the last and only line of defense between the Institute and the Commonwealth. Hell, maybe even the world. <sighs> Any perks being close to the big boss? Now that I don't have to hide, sure. Tinker Tom will set you up. But the best perk is seen behind the curtain. People think our missions are all about synths, but there's more going on. We are building a better, brighter commonwealth. The railroad really is the best, noblest organization that's ever lived. We're, we're, we... <laughs> uh, I can't keep up with this bullshit. Traveling with you is never dull. I aim to please. But I had a point here. A lesson, if you will. There's other organizations out there, and in time, I'm sure they're going to spoon-feed you their own patented form of bullshit. Ignore the verbiage and look at what they're doing, what they're asking you to do, what sort of world they'd have you build, and how they're going to pay for it. So what's the railroad's deal? We're not about saving the world. Too big a job for too few. But we're trying to make it a better one, one cent at a time. And care about the little guys. Maybe lend a hand on the side. Not as much as some would like, but hey, it's something. But the real question is, what do you think of us? And at the end of the day, you'll need to make a choice. Make it the right one. Where the fuck did he go? Don't do that shit. Where the fuck are you? Motherfucker. Place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. That's all I needed to know. Well then, I guess we're done. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. 
It's like probably gunners place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. There's got to be a better way to do this. What is it? Mysterious Serum. She get that thing out of my face, god damn it. She is? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean... is missing and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not Mother, a... Mother, Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. Imogene is out there somewhere, maybe even lying dead in a ditch, and you don't even care. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack. How dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Imogene. We've been over this, mother. I can't bear to think what might be happening to Imogene right now. She's a grown woman. She's perfectly capable of looking after herself. Okay. Excuse me. So did you find out what happened to the courier? Just some raiders that ambushed him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Hmm. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. If your father was here, he'd send someone to find Imogene. He's been over this, mother. 
Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Henry. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> Ow, Jesus Christ, this is hot. You shouldn't Great. indulge her Another anymore. crazy Just science. Just more impossible. Wait, somebody order them next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. <sighs> Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? Hey there. Can it wait? I was just in the middle of something. I've got to get going. All right. I'm just gonna take a look around. If that's all right. No, nope, it's not all right. Yep, not all right. Oh well. No. I just can't bear to think what. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh, well, I was going to do it anyway. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. We're neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Ah, the time-honored tradition of Moody. A new player in Good Neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. <clears throat> you ever tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. I wish Fahrenheit could be an NPC. The corner. Yes. Come on and sit. <coughs> and pull huh? up a chair. 
know me to feel like a stranger cause we're all a little strange in here Did you come in just for the beer and cigarettes? Woo! A broken down dream You're tired of chasing Ooh, well, I'm just the girl to make you forget I bet you are Hello, nurse. Now, is your motor running close to empty? Or are you running from yourself? Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Hmm? What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, that's it. You have that, um, I'm the smartest one here and I know it posture. There's something so irresistible about intelligence, don't you think? Of course. So what it brings a man like you to my party? What is that? I came here for a strong whiskey. <laughs> Charlie will be happy to hear that. I think you and I are going to get along just fine. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane... She latched on to him for some Emma reason. Jean's not I my lover. He was easy on the eyes. Mm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Who? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm. 
Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Hmm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. <laughs> I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fella. Hey there. You're looking for me? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. <laughs> Damn. It's tempting, but unfortunately I'm married to the stage. <clears throat> you again. It's my lucky day. What do you need? Any chance I could steal you away for an evening? I don't think that would be a good idea. Um, bloody hell. Nothing. I'll leave. You have a good... Oh, well, I guess we're done here. Entertainments down the stairs. <clears throat> I toss out the troublemakers. You keep that in mind. Hey everyone, gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to I forget you what walked that freedom train. Hey, Daisy. What? Glad kinda, you can make. It. What are they called? How's my favorite? Is three buff? Didn't I see you on the table with Morowski the other day? Ah, he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their synths! That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the Super Mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny, when people are doing things they don't normally do, when family starts pushing you away for no reason, we all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! us. And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? The neighborhood! Yeah. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Of the people! For the people! Alrighty then. Well, that doesn't look good. I'm noticing the profound lack of darkness here. <clears throat> Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? 
I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. I'm not leaving without seeing her. You can't see her. She, uh, can't come out of her room right now. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. You know how women can get. Mm. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. So that's our play? Got it. You picked the wrong guy to mess with, pal. Oh, uh... Let me... Oh, god damn it, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? What? Did you ask to be locked in here? No, of course not. I could have left whenever I chose. I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Your boyfriend's dead. Let's go. Thomas? He wasn't my boyfriend. We had some fun together, that's all. Besides, he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. Oh, well. All's well that ends well. This clean? I, I really can't imagine it. <clears throat> that, that's one way to end it.
The broadsider is the answer to the age-old question, would it be fun to walk around and shoot people with the portable naval cannon? Yes, yes it would. Why does it do this? Weird. If they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. I don't need anything right now, thank you. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. I found Emma Jean. She's fine. Oh, yes, good. Thank God. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other side effects. Especially in the undiluted form that the Raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these Raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. Where do you get this serum from? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety, as well as ours. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling him all this? In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me. But if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my <clears> father <throat> forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. We'd better get to Parsons right away, then. Exactly right. Before we go, 
I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go.